Hello and welcome. My name is Barbara Wainwright, and I am the president of the Strategic Learning Alliance, or SLA. SLA is a not-for-profit applied learning accreditation and certification entity that supports veteran success, a charity division of the SLA. I appreciate everyone joining our annual Veteran Success Kickoff Call. Thank you so much for being here. To start, I would like to introduce you to the veterans and civilians on the call to a brief background of veteran success. Veteran Success is a movement for veterans and by veterans, started by Dr. J. Paul Rand with Foundational Research launched in 2009. Veteran Success has remained dedicated to the SLA mission of inspiring dynamic results no matter how small. However, what the veteran members and leaders have created is real dynamic and far from small. Let's review a brief history of success. Veteran Success has connected veterans with hiring professionals, created the only graduate certificate without prior learning requirements, VA accredited and SLA accredited, has been featured by CBS, was recently referenced in a major motion picture, and more importantly, Veteran Success has been a movement by veterans and for veterans that have created rather dynamic outcomes. Today, we will review those outcomes and hear the stories of active veterans who have been affiliated with Veteran Success programs over the past few years. Before we discuss the results that matter, I would like the veterans who will be interviewed today to help us define the essence of the Veteran Success Movement. VeteranSuccess.org is a movement, a movement that inspires veterans to live a dynamic life through learning, service, and leadership. VeteranSuccess.org values reach. Reach represents our members' values. Reach through relationship building. Reach through empowerment. Reach through awareness, community, and health. VeteranSuccess.org as a movement supports veterans in several ways with our REACH efforts. Veterans first join the movement and get involved with REACH initiatives or ideas. REACH initiatives are ideas veterans feel are right to support other veterans through services learning and leadership. Veterans who join the movement are invited to attend REACH committees who think, act, and lead REACH initiative planning sessions to help inspire veterans to pursue their passion while actually obtaining opportunities to learn and earn certifications, job opportunities, and promotion in the civilian sector. These ideas, once planned, turn into real REACH projects from small dynamic success in the past, including raking leaves, saving veterans from gang life, to contributing to research to better connect veterans to building a park. These projects, deemed dynamic and deserving, become the focus for the Veteran Success Foundation where groups of learners take a REACH project and build a REACH program to sustain and expand the projects. Applied REACH programs have been the hallmark of veteran success learning leaders. Through our applied learning that results from the service occurring as part of REACH program, veterans have the opportunity to demonstrate their leadership, develop their skills, and contribute to each other, to the community and to the Veteran Success Movement. Participants in REACH program can earn up to $1,500 in COLA benefits while also seeking a graduate certificate and professional certification. They also have the opportunity to establish partnership to fund learning-based REACH program nonprofits. Veteran Success was researched, tested, and developed based on inspiring veterans to pursue a passion while allowing for a pension to ensue. This is achieved with support of Dr. Rand's research and the Strategic Learning Alliance. The SLA sponsors veterans in their creation of local REACH learning-based programs that are nonprofit. As a leader in the program develops their REACH ideas, projects, and ultimately programs, they are afforded the opportunity to become the executive of that learning nonprofit. SLA and other corporate entities contribute opportunities to help funding these REACH program nonprofits. A veteran can join the veteran success movement and participate as much or as little based on what is right for them. So visit www.veteran-success.org and complete the intake form to receive your membership email, your welcome packet, access to the career development system for free if you are a veteran. A veteran who gets involved with the movement will first start with the career development system. The system is endorsed by hundreds of hiring professionals and has directly impacted hundreds of veterans transitioning from the military. In 2015, the Career Development REACH program will include negotiating, managing, and coordinating a three-year strategy to lead 3,000 wounded warriors through the system at no cost. The Career Development System for Veterans 
a REACH program is now supported by our REACH program and learning based nonprofit, Widow for Right, a team of dynamic widows and veteran dependents that will ensure community support, spouse sponsorship, and coaching services to support the CDS program for veterans, their spouse, and their dependents. Like other REACH efforts, the Widow for Right program was once an idea, a series of several small projects, but now a full-fledged REACH program. Career and professional development, while important to veterans, is but just one small part of the veteran success movement. Veterans who join the movement will not only go through the career development at no cost, but will also engage in multiple REACH initiative planning sessions. These sessions will include planning for the 2015 Sailing for Right and the Writing for Right programs as part of a broad community project uniting veterans, civilians, and corporations with life work balance plans, projects, and learning opportunities to reach real results. Sailing for Right and Writing for Right are foundational initiatives launched in 2011 that resulted from planning efforts by veterans moved by Dr. Rand's research. In this research, Dr. Rand established scholarly evidence that for veterans to get right following overseas deployment required that they learn, lead, and focus real recreational and dynamic living opportunities. This research was embraced by the Strategic Learning Alliance, who provided governing oversight to VeteranSuccess.org. Veteran ideas, projects, and programs are reviewed by SLA and our corporate affiliates for corporate contributions. There are multiple for right programs, but today we will stay focused on the 2015 focus to unite Writing for Right, Sailing for Right, Widow for Right, and Veteran Success Reach programs such as the Career Development System, the HRA certification, to help link veterans, civilians, and opportunity through real, dynamic, and right program opportunities. Writing for Right was featured on CBS, and Sailing for Right kicks off again 2015 with a boat build. Veteran success is not just a movement based on ideas, but an opportunity for veterans to choose to get right by doing what's right for them. In 2015, the Sailing for Right will help veterans build the Battle Buddy Initiative, an initiative to inspire solutions by veterans for veterans to help end the suicide and homeless rates affecting our heroes. Meanwhile, SLA will work with teams of corporate and veteran learners to plan, design, fund, and build a motorcycle to help continue to advance the Writing for Right program, research, and opportunities. Let's examine just some of these ideas that turned into projects and then for right programs. Widows for Right moved from an idea to projects. In 2012, the Widows Reach Initiative united community groups with the Writing for Right program with several small projects. In 2014, we challenged veterans to dynamically lead a project that resulted in a library, training room, and faculty facility being built to support the career development program that will reach widows and dependents of veterans. This was all by veterans for a widow, for families of veterans, for other veterans' success. While the initial widows' project such as raking leaves and inspired veterans to do dynamic things in the community was inspiring. I am proud to now be the executive officer of the Widow for Right program. We look forward to joining with spouses, widows, and dependents to help raise awareness in the community, build a direct relationship between civilian sponsors and veteran reach program, and ensure all are welcome, veterans or not, in the Veteran Success 2015 Project Reach. In 2015, Veteran Success launches Project United Reach. Drawing from efforts dating back to 2011, Project United Reach will leverage the strengths of the Veteran Success Reach initiatives, programs, and projects. This project specifically will unite the Reach program, Sailing for Right and Writing for Right the Career Development Reach Program, the VA-funded learning teams, and corporate sponsors. We will focus our efforts to building awareness, belief in, and community around the right ideas that represent veteran success. Veterans are encouraged to become involved this winter as we plan a series of reach ideas, projects, and programs that will connect hiring professionals with our pool of transitioning veterans. We'll focus on building awareness of the veteran success movement and developing the pathway for veterans to not only join the movement, but to also become inspired to take on a project that is right for them. 
working with the Strategic Learning Alliance Board of Governors, we will focus on featuring the real results that are innovated, planned, implemented, and made successful by veterans for veterans, for the community, and for our industry. Initiatives include a video book campaign, an HR community reach project, contribute to research and education for how companies can support veteran success while implementing HR policies that ensure veterans are not merely hired, but are set up for success in the civilian sector. Veteran Success Project, United Reach, seeks to provide the right connection between communities that leverages the strengths from the rich history of veteran success. Participants include those engaged in a graduate certificate program, to veteran volunteers, to dependents of veterans, to committed community members. Now that we've spent time hearing about the veteran success movement, projects, and programs, let's shift into the real stories that matter, the veterans. Now, First, I'd like to interview Jessica, and she is the daughter of a veteran. So, Jessica, tell us a little bit about you. Well, my name is Jessica Schulte, and I have participated with uh, Veteran Success for a while now, um, and I have earned my Certified Professional Leader letters. And, yeah, my dad is a 30-year, now-retired Navy Chief, and I'm his daughter. <laughs> That's beautiful. So, what was your life like before you discovered Veteran Success? I was a 20-something. I was pretty angry at the world for so many different reasons. None of them good reasons, really, at all. I, I was just very stubborn, and everything was everyone else's fault, and I was just the victim. Okay, so how did, first of all, how did you hear about veteran success? One of my very good friends and, and someone who became a, a mentor to me. Excellent. So you were feeling grumpy, and generally grumpy. <laughs> Yeah. And, yeah. and something happened that was a turning point for you that made you reach out to Veteran Success. What, what was that? It wasn't any one given point. It was just the repetitive movement of it all. I mean, I, I couldn't find happiness in the bottom of the bottle. I couldn't find it in my next paycheck, which for some reason I thought was going to be bigger than the last one. Mm -hmm. I couldn't find it at all. And my incessant, you know, complaining about it obviously wasn't helping. So I finally just decided, well, I'm going to try something small. And, you know, it, it led me to where I am today. And I'm proud of it. That's great. So just do something small. Just do something. Right? Take, take a just step. Just do something. Seriously. <laughs> so, okay, that's great. So you, you took the initiative. You did something. Tell us, what is your life like now that you've gone through the career development system and you've earned that leadership credential? What's going on with you now? You know, it's a lot more positive in, in so many different facets. I mean, that's professionally, personally, my well-being. The people that I've met through Veteran Success have really become some of my best friends. I've, I've built strong relationships, both professionally and individually with the people I've worked with. That's beautiful. So let's say there's somebody, there's another veteran daughter or an, another um, somebody out there who's been involved with veterans that is kind of in the same situation you were. Do you have any advice or words that you'd like to share with them? For dependents, you're on a completely different spectrum than the veteran is. It's not to say that's any less, and a lot of times it's harder for us to understand our veteran. Mm -hmm. This program has really, I've always had a strong relationship with my dad, but this program has actually allowed me to understand him in, in other depths and what he needs to be successful for his life to become dynamic and to be able to communicate efficiently with the people around him, the people who support him. And this program has really allowed me to become a support for not just my father, but for all the veterans, veterans' families, and the veteran community. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing that, Jessica. Thank James, um, I, I, I would like to hear from you. James, you want to tell us a little bit about you? Hello. Hi, Barbara. My name is James Anderson. I spent over 30 years in the service. I'm a certified professional coach and a certified professional leader, and I am married with a daughter and three grandkids. Thanks, James. Could you tell us a little bit, what was your life like before you found Veteran Success? My life before I found Veteran Success was I was wondering what my purpose in life was, and then I ran up on it, and then it changed my whole life dramatically. Wonderful. So tell me, um, before you found Veteran Success, at, at some point you must have said, I've got to do something different, something needs to change. What was the turning point for you that made you reach out to Veteran Success? I, I think God put all us on this earth to serve. And I, wasn't, I was serving people, but I just didn't have that passion for it like I have for it now. 
And I think the, the ability to serve people and do different things was the turning point. Nice. So, so now that you've been with Veteran Success for a while, what has changed for you? Well, I feel motivated, and as I tell people all the time, just keep dancing, people will come. And just keep doing what you're doing, and everything is, will be better. My outlook for the future is great because I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing because I know we're here to help veterans, and I'm going to keep doing that. And my life is full with helping people every day, and it makes me excited. Nice. That's a beautiful thing. So, James, you have a moment here where you can share with anybody that's listening to this who's a veteran or knows a veteran. What would you like to share with them today? Being short, I would tell them, do something. You're here to serve. And the veterans need somebody to talk to like us who have a passion for something. Just keep doing what you're doing. Do it and don't stop. Thank you, James. All right. Um, Eric. I would love to hear a little bit from you. Who are you and, and um, tell us a little bit about you. Well, well, everyone. My name is Eric Rankin. I'm a retired Sergeant First Class in the United States Army. I'm a certified professional coach. I'm working as a veteran success team leader, uh, currently extending and working with the Sailing for Right and United Reach efforts. I'm a Salem father of three very energetic young men, ages 13, 11, and 11. I'm a proud supporting husband, supporting my wife, who is a captain in the United States Army. Wow, that's, that's really great. It sounds like you've had a very interesting life already. Tell us, what was your life like before you discovered veteran success? Upon returning from my uh, two deployments, stemming from 2003 to 2006, uh, returning home, I for the longest time, I was living with a why not me attitude. I had no focus. I had no purpose. And daily, my daily walks was why am I still here? Wow. Okay. That's, that kind of takes my breath away. And, and it's part of the reason that we're all here in support of veteran success is because uh, once you've served your country, that's just a really uh, bad place to be. It, it hurts my heart. <laughs> So tell us, how did you hear about veteran success, and tell us about the turning point that made you reach out. Well, the turning point for me, I was contacted by my Army Wounded Warrior Program counselor, and he has done more than most people would expect that they do. And he told me for quite some time about veteran success and the career development system. So I got engaged, I took a look at it, and I enrolled. And he really told me to get to Seattle, Washington at the headquarters there. And I did. And I've been twice since June 2014. That's amazing. So tell us, what was, what was it that made you reach out to Veteran Success and try something new? Because there's a lot of people that are out there that feel depressed, that feel like they're worthless, that, you know, have been really, I'll say, downtrodden. And it, Reaching a bottom for people, it, sometimes it takes an awful lot. What was it that really triggered you to look for something new? Barbara, I was on my knees. I was waking up every day on my knees, just looking up, trying to looking for something to get me through the day. And when I saw this, and I and I saw what the other veteran learners had done before, and I spoke with veteran staff. They were very professional. They were enthusiastic. They're motivating. And they believed in me already, and they didn't even know who I was yet. And I was motivated to really take a look at the non-traditional learning method and versus sitting in a classroom with some young individual in this younger generation who, you know, cares more about their social media time and just focusing on passing some test. I was very interested in having that opportunity to actually apply my military background and myself uh, through real-world projects to help my fellow brothers and sisters from the military. Oh my gosh, that's so heartening. And so can you share with us a little bit about what your life is like now after having gone through this and earning your credentials and, and your certificate? What are you? What's your life look like now? I am feeling reborn and I'm so much more positive. My outlook on life is so much more positive. I look forward to the next day. I look forward to the next week. I look forward to the next month. I look forward to that next moment of spending with my sons and my wife. 
that is a blessing to be coming from a place where every day is a gift rather than every day is torture, right? So congratulations on your transition into from where you were to where you are now. If there was a message that you could give to another veteran or somebody that knows a veteran that's suffering out there right now, what advice would you have for them? Absolutely. I have a little quote, carpe diem, seize the day. Today is your day. Let go to all your fears, your doubts, your anxieties of life's problems that you're currently living with. Come join the veteran team, veteran learners. Come apply yourself. Join the veteran success movement and hang on. I love it. Hang on for the ride because it certainly is one, right? (laughs) Absolutely. Thank you, Eric. All right, we have Claire next. Claire is a widow of a veteran, but also a veteran herself. So, Claire, tell us a little bit about you. Hi, my name is Claire, and uh, I have four children. But three of them are in the military and lived here in Kentucky for 21 years. And I'm recently a graduate of the professional coach. That's excellent. So you're a certified professional coach. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened to you before you were introduced to veteran success? Before I was introduced to veteran success, I was living in hardship of financial hardship. And so I just had to find my way how to better my life. Okay. So who, who helped you get introduced to veteran success? Well, I was looking for a job, and and I came upon Veteran Success through Mr. Anderson. He introduced me to the career development system and went on from there because I did the resume through him. Nice. So tell us, what has been the benefit of being involved with Veteran Success for you, Claire? The benefit is that I have something to do and go do something. It's very catchy. So... Also, I have the opportunity to meet other people and continue to to get involved in the community. And the more I go out there and support the community, meet other people, I really feel confident. That's excellent. Claire, can you tell us if you have a message for a veteran who, or a widow of a veteran who's out there right now, maybe in the same place that you were struggling financially and uh, having a difficult time, what would you recommend to them? I would recommend to them continue to seek out assistance. We are all here. There's a lot of veterans that wanted to help, and we feel like we're a family. So don't pull back or look for for help so veteran success is here and they can connect with us and and join a community feel like part of a family and do something (laughs) right yes thank you so much claire 2015 is a keynote year for veteran success with the strategic learning alliance backing we have several key opportunities I will highlight each key REACH initiative and programs that are joined with the Project United REACH 2015 effort. Each component has a team appointed that includes veterans, community volunteers, or corporate learners to ensure continuity of our commitment to learning first, to ensure the most professionalism through effectively applied knowledge. Career Development and HR Certification The Widow for Right team will focus on linking corporate professionals seeking professional certification with a chance to benefit from the Career Development System program while supporting two veterans per registrant. They will provide the Career Development System to coaches to continue to fund their library and training of widows and dependents. They will plan, implement, and provide opportunity for paid internships to veteran dependents, spouses, and widows who join the movement with their team. Team Freedom. This team is uniting HR, project management, and veteran learners to create a strategy that will ensure proceeds from a participation in higher education programs and professional recertification programs to help fund the 3,000 wounded warriors. Team Success has identified that if 50 employees a week are sent through the career development system, we will be able to fund the veteran leaders so that we can get 3,000 wounded warriors trained, coached, and managed through the career development system. By the way, the career development system has an 89% hiring rate in less than 90 days for transitioning veterans within the next 15 months. This opportunity has been planned, negotiated, and will be overseen by veterans as they hone their HR skills in coaching, 
training and operations while participating in the Veteran Success Learning Program. Current Team Success members are wounded warriors but are making dynamic contributions. They are supported by HR professionals and the Strategic Learning Alliance. And in 2015, the United Reach Program, they hope for corporate support with the People First Reach Team. The People First Corporate Team in a group of professionals obtaining graduate education and supporters of the veteran success in the workplace, this group will work to unite and create a process that contributes research, results, and support to advancing the concept of helping corporations promote work-life balance. Through this effort, the team will conduct reach planning to support the Sailing for Right and Battle Buddy project the Sailing for Right Bike Build and Tour Initiative, and the Life and Career Strategies Program, a series of learning-based workbooks authored by Dr. Paul Rand that will be donated to the Veteran Success Movement to help reach, empower, and ensure all veterans have an opportunity to seek work-life balance by pursuing their passions. We appreciate your time today, and we ask for the following. If you are a veteran, join the movement and get involved with the movement this winter by attending planning sessions for each of the 2015 Project United Reach efforts. We ask that you immediately share the link, veteransuccess.org, with your networks of veterans on Facebook and LinkedIn. Remember, veterans can join the movement and participate as volunteers. Volunteers can earn scholarships through service and leadership involvement. Veterans can also work to lead established project teams and receive COLA benefits of $1,500 a month through our learning program for veterans. And new in 2015, we will have opportunities to partner for paid internships and on-the-job opportunities. But that all starts by making the choice to join the movement and accessing the career development system free for veterans. Now, if you're a civilian, we ask that you consider promoting the career development system to your peers, managers, and companies as a way of promoting life-work balance in the organization. Remember, if we hit the goal of 50 employees a week signed up for access to the career development system, the Veteran Success Team will not only provide the career development system for veterans, but also be able to coach, train, and ensure those veterans are featured to hundreds of hiring professionals through the Strategic Learning Alliance Network of Applied Learning Professionals. And we have a Board of Governor Advisor team. Our meetings will be held on the fourth Saturday of each month in 2015. The contact and team manager is Jessica Schultze. The president and veteran success lead is Alex Jabarski. The Board of Governor team is very excited for United Reach this year. We have a team of extremely active and prepared project managers, human resource professionals, and individual researchers that will contribute to the largest United Reach campaign in the history of veteran success. The board oversees the revisions to strategies set by the Strategic Learning Alliance representatives on the board. The board ensures leadership learning for active participants in our VA accredited higher education program. The board provides links between community leaders and veterans to inspire veterans to innovate new reach initiatives and provide support and resources. The primary focus in 2015 as the veteran success has officially shifted from a strategy of learning to engagement and is now positioned as a movement by veterans and for veterans is to ensure that these diligent veteran volunteers and learners are supported. Veterans in our learning program are barred from requesting or collecting money. Their learning focuses on the pursuit of passion and self-purpose. The Board of Advisors will now review progress and provide profitable opportunity to ensure the movement is prosperous. Let us briefly review these exciting contributions made by applied learners in 2015. We have a foundational website. Community support has allowed for the expansions of VeteranSuccess.org to include integrated technology. This means continued enhancement to the career development system, which is free for veterans. The life and career strategies course and team building course opportunities will also be available. Veterans Reach Initiative Project and Ultimately Program will be featured and highlighted on the expanded site. Now, this ensures that veterans still benefit from the organic machine applied learning experience. Veterans maintain site autonomy for their reach purpose quicker ability to enable approved REACH projects, 2015 REACH initiatives already proposed include archery for right, recreation for right, boxing, cycling, hiking, rafting, camping events, and more. Our corporate REACH leads link the past, present, and future learning leaders to support the boards. Uh, We have corporate funding leads. We have corporate project leads. We have 
HR community leads. Our Uniting Corporate Learners focus on linking corporate funds, arms, human resource placement services, and related charity nonprofit support for veteran success. In 2015, we have a research team led by Dr. J. Paul Rand and corporate learners. These learners will develop their project leadership skills as they design PR and drive a strategy for veteran success video books and blogs. This will serve our continued negotiations at Strategic Learning Alliance on behalf of veteran success for a reality TV show, expanded CBS coverage, and a book publication by veterans for veteran success. Our applied learning community leads are developing their leadership and engaging their community of professionals throughout 2015. At Strategic Learning Alliance, we appreciate each learner's contribution. Please watch for emails from veteran, volunteer, or advisory board members with opportunities to get right. Alex Jabarski, would, do you have something that you'd like to share with us today about the veteran success movement? I'll just say I met Alex. Wow, it's been several years now, and he came through the training and became a certified professional coach. And it's been an honor and a privilege to get to know Alex. He's also a veteran and very committed to the success of veteran success. So, Alex, would you like to share with us a moment about your thoughts on the veteran success movement and where it is today as opposed to uh, 2009? Sure. Thank you, Barbara. The the program has uh, grown leaps and bounds since I first got involved. It has really developed from an idea to the current definition as a movement. And it really is a movement. If you look at the news these days, there are many, many organizations that are supporting veterans. And there have been many changes in the Veterans Administration, a change at the top. All of these things indicate that the veteran is becoming more important to the general population, which gives credence to individual veterans that they they matter, their service is important, and that people are thinking about them. But it's a very difficult transition to, to go from being in a rigorous military environment to a civilian environment and try to think about, can I transition my skills to what the civilian world needs? Can I transition my thought process from what it takes to be in the military, especially in the conflicts that we're currently engaged in and disengaging, to more of a civilian world where it takes a a different mindset. So all of these things that are happening to the veteran as, as he or she is trying to transition into the civilian world and creates a lot of confusion. So I think the veteran success being a movement along with other veterans organizations really provides an avenue, a sounding board, someplace where the veteran can say, hey, I'm out here, I've got these questions and it seems like no one's listening to me. So I'm really excited about what's happening so far and I think this uh, movement as Barbara has mentioned and outlined throughout this presentation, has a long ways to go and we really, really want people to join, to sign up, take a chance. It may not be the perfect thing for you, but you don't know until you sign up. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Alex. That's a great contribution. You know, just give it a shot. You don't know if it's right for you until you just, you know, put your toe in the water (laughs) and jump in, you know, and you might be pleasantly surprised like Eric, who spent quite a bit of time not really having a direction to now being on fire for his life. And it's just, you know, such a, a beautiful transition to see. We have another veteran here with us today, and his name is Chili Hicks. And I would love it, Chili, if you would share with us what your thoughts are about veteran success. I know you've been with veteran success for a long time. I'd love to hear your thoughts on where it's, where it's come from to where it is now and your recommendation to other veterans who are out there that might be interested. Thank you, Barbara. I was just complimenting and sharing my great pleasure with how far my teammates have come. You know, as a as a person who works in corporate America, those constraints that uh, bind us with our time, uh, uh, you know, are often out of our control. And we've seen a great amount of progress in this teamwork, this organization, Veteran Success, because one of the great elements besides the, the uh, practical learning, the camaraderie and association, the mentoring and uh, fellowship with your peers, your veteran friends, you know, your families of veterans, people who have experienced similar things in life. One of the great things is 
it, it just doesn't stop. It's like earning your, your degree in life. You know, you just plug out a little bit every day and where you can, you come back in and, you know, dedicate a couple of months focused on supporting a teammate or leading a project. And so the door is always open, never locked. And like you heard from Jess and Eric, the clarity that you can come out with just by just listening and exploring what's available. And it's really, in many ways, it's, it's a mindset change coming from a very structured place where your surroundings in the military have clear boundaries with a clear destination, clear objectives, and clear roles. Oftentimes, when you leave a very structured environment like that and move into the civilian world, it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just the way it is. Not everybody around you is following the same rules. They don't have the same passion. And the objectives may not be the same. So the value of being connected with veteran success and right for right, sale for right, widow for right, whatever it may be, is it allows you to use your common experiences and passion. And I'd say, you know, human goodwill to help others at the same time while you're you're helping yourself, you're helping your, your teammate. And for me, there's been some personal healing that goes along. And I, I think that there's a lot of commonality that we benefit from each other just by sharing it. And like Jessica said, I've got a lot of great new friends. So thank you, Barbara. Thank you, Chili. That's really a, a beautiful experience that you've had with veteran success. And, and like you said, it's really great, the progress that's been made over the last 12 months. There's been a lot of clarity and a, a definition of where we're headed so that any new team members coming in can see how they can participate, they can create, they can venture, if you will, in an area that they're passionate about and bring other people that are passionate about that along. We have another guest here, Carolyn Carpenter, who is currently in the military. And she's in the Army, and she's also a widow of a service member. So you're in in the Warrior Transition Unit right now, and you found out about the program through Mr. Anderson. Tell us a little bit more about you. What is your current situation? I am a 14-year veteran in the HR field and live here in Kentucky, has been for the last little bit over 20 years now. I have uh, two kids, a daughter and a son. My son did join the military as well, my daughter as well. She joined the Navy, whereas he joined the Army. And they both didn't make a career out of it. But however, the military did serve them well because they are now working in their career field, nice. which they uh, did get from the military. Beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Uh, and I went to Afghanistan, came back, and unfortunately, I have an injury to my foot. So I was put in the WTU and trying to get well. So far, I mean, these people there at the WTU is outstanding. I mean, the programs that's available. And Mr. Anderson and along with Ms. Claire let me know about the Veteran Success Program. I had never even heard about it until he gave the presentation on it. And I was blown away from it. I was like, wow, all this is for veterans? Veterans can really participate in these things. It's free of charge and you don't have to pay anything. And you can get all of this information plus schooling, plus job opportunities plus there's so many pluses to it. it it's absolutely phenomenal so i'm happy to have linked up with mr anderson and with the wtu as well and to learn about these programs and for sure myself is actually going out and telling other people about it uh likewise oh that's so excellent so i love that you're doing that let's just say there's a veteran or somebody who has a, a veteran who is a friend or a family member or associate what would you say to them right now if they're out there and they're kind of wondering what to do with themselves, they haven't been able to successfully make the transition, what would you recommend for them? I would recommend, first of all, to link up with, like the WTU, Mr. Anderson is always making stuff available. Veterans, you know, we have no idea that these programs are available out there because it's not put out there to us. It's not on a board, a bulletin board anywhere. It's not advertised within the unit. It's not talked about. So I would say link up with someone else, the 88 number or the Google or Facebook or Twitter like you talked about in the beginning of the sessions and find out about these programs and let it be known that this is available to you because you are a veteran or a family member of a veteran or a widow of a veteran. It's great. Thank you so much. You just made such a great point, and that is, for everybody on the call, we need to get the word out there. If you have a connection with a veteran and you can spread the word. If you know a website or a blog or on LinkedIn, there's veterans groups. If you're part of a veteran group or you know somebody that is, can you please reach out to them and let them know about veteransuccess.org. They can go to the website. It's veteran 
success.org and they can go there and get information on how they can get involved and earn 1500 in COLA possibly and so it can increase their income and it'll increase their knowledge it'll increase their sense of well-being and everything's good about it I can't think of anything that isn't so thank you so much that was very important information we need to take responsibility for getting the message out there because it's not being done by the government that's what I'm hearing yes Thank you yes. so much, Carolyn. I understand we have another veteran on the call with us, and I'm wondering if Carleen would be willing to share with us about your experience, how you found veteran success, a little bit about you, and what your life was like before you found veteran success. Carleen? Well, I think it is a great opportunity, just like what Carolyn was saying, for all veterans. I do believe that it is not advertised as it should be because we look at how it can help us as individuals joining veteran success, but it's not just about helping us. It's about helping everyone, not just soldiers, sailors, but everyone in our life. So all it does, the way I look at it, it improves me, and as I get improved, other people are improved. That's so true. and It is like a ripple effect, right? Each one of us that gets right. uplifted in our life, it just ripples out to everybody in our life. And if we just keep doing that, <laughs> we'll have an amazing place to live, right? As well as we'll all be fulfilled with the inside, right? So, Carleen, yeah. tell me what it was like a little bit for you. What made you decide to join the Veteran Success Movement? For one, I saw the enthusiasm that Mr. Anderson and Eric had, and they have such contagious energy <laughs> that you cannot help join better success if you encounter either one of those young men. That's beautiful. And I think if they got that much impact on me, just how much each one of us have an impact on the world. That's right. Thank you so much. It's great to hear your enthusiasm and to know that you were inspired by two veterans that came from a place of not knowing who they were or what to do with themselves and now they have a purpose, they have a mission, they're inspired constantly and they're inspiring others through the ripple effect and you're one of those that got inspired and I know you're going to make a difference in the world too by sharing and spreading the word of VeteransSuccess.org. Thank you, Carlene. I appreciate that. Is there something that you'd like to say to other veterans out there right now? Is there something you'd like to share? Uh, the only thing that I have to share that we're all veterans, we all should help each other, and our world will be so much better, and all of our veterans will be taken care of, not by what the government, but by each other, and that's what's important, that we don't have to wait on a system, that we can just, we have each other. Oh, thank you, Carlene, and that is so true. It's like we come together and support each other, and, and we will eventually change the world. Thank you, Carlene. We have a comment from Nicole. She says, thanks for the information. This is something I've been interested in, and this has helped me understand better. Both my husband and I are veterans. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Thank you so much. So at this time, I just want to say thank you to everyone for joining us and Definitely look forward to staying connected and sharing and spreading the word about VeteransSuccess.org. Brenda says, thank you for the wonderful seminar and the input from everyone directly involved in the organization was informative and heartfelt. Absolutely. Thank you, Brenda. And uh, she's looking forward to working with everyone. So exciting. And uh, Becca says, thanks for inviting me. Becca, I know you're going to be a great contribution to this team as well. So thank, thank you. And she says, I really love what we're doing here. I do too. I'm so pleased to be part of this team and to have met Paul and to be getting involved and I just really appreciate everyone's efforts and our success at being able to spread the word and really lift people up to help them live that dynamic life with team success. So thank you all for joining us and we will go ahead and look forward to getting together with all of you in the future. Please go to veteran-success.org to learn more and we'll talk to you all soon. Thank you everyone.